Hello and welcome to What Map, the map view show for City Skylines. There are tens of thousands of maps in the workshop now, and so finding the right one for your next build is a huge task. So each day, Monday to Saturday, we'll review one, using our 5 star rating for aesthetics, detail and gameplay potential, awarding only the very best the coveted seal of approval. So join me fellow Skylines explorers as we venture to today's new land. Who am I? I'm Bon Bon B, and you are very, very welcome. Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to Saturday's What's Map, Bon Bon here, how you doing? Right, today's map is very busy, we've got an awful lot to look at, so we're just going to crack right on in without the waffle. It's Lofoten, Norway by Ikania, he who needs no introduction, but for those of you that are new to What's Map and to Maps, let's just start square by the way, we'll talk about him a little bit anyway. Right, so um, what we're looking at, resources, resources, that's what you're looking at there quite splattery all good and then um, the steam workshop page you're going to need a few trees mostly from mr mason there's the frostic fall theme which is a custom theme made specifically by kenya um, the requirement is also for our cinematic lut which i have this time remembered to use hurrah and there are a few other mods as well which are recommended but not essential with it so far good also involved in the making of this map was Mr. Miyagi. So we've got Mr. Maison, Mr. Miyagi, and Ikanya. If this isn't a dream team of map makers, I don't know what is. That bridge there, well, pretty much every bit of shipping's going through it. And we've got tunnels. And these are Ikanya style tunnels. And because it's a fantasy map rather than a realistic map, I'm not going to mind if the tunnels just drop almost vertically in. That wasn't too bad anyway, so I'm quite happy to let that one go. Right, once again, we're expecting this to be a beautiful map, and there's no reason why this map is not going to score very highly indeed. Tunnels going through the mountain, merging out there as well. Like I say, fantasy map, normally I'd want those to go actually into the rock, into the actual mountain itself, but they're dropping underneath. I'm okay with that on this particular map. First intersection, generally outstanding. There are one or two minor things that I would like to mention but they're not score affecting okay um, where are we so for, for basically everything's looking pretty glorious here okay everything's beautifully laid this particular road here is possibly a little bit steep fractionally possibly maybe not hard to tell um, but that's one thing there's an over here though this is more of a like an aesthetic thing got these three roads and they're all at very slightly different heights they all go in different uh, locations so that would be an argument for it i think mostly it's actually to avoid um, lamppost clipping here see they're not level there although one is dropping before the other I don't know, it just seemed imperfect but hey that's architecture imperfect i'm not marking this map down on slight imperfection like that any any major problems or so anything that's just clashes on the eye would be an issue now i know a lot of you are going to say look too many too much road infrastructure okay i read that a lot nice uh, intersection there like that as well um yeah a lot of you will grumble about the too many roads and also that there's just too much decoration and it's gonna oh, beautiful whirlpool intersection uh lovely and um yes so th there's all that oh that one thing i'm also not going to mark down on is the glitching on the side of the roads that's a recent thing right oh these magic tunnels where have they gone to um where do, they, where do you think where do you think I'll tell you where they come out. They come out actually uh, over here on the other side of this little mountain here. So, yeah, they, they take that route like that. Uh, that's in the Canyon special, okay? I'm not marking that down. I think that adds to the magic. This is what caught my eye at first with the Canyon was the, the magic tunnels, and I'm glad to see the return of them. Yeah, the slight glitching on the side of the roads, that seems to be a recent thing since Green Cities. And um, hopefully that will be resolved at some point. I'm sure it's a, it's a minor issue that somebody will resolve. 
at the, at the developers and uh, another one of these magic tunnels where's this one go I'll leave you a second to guess can you work it out can you can you see can you see it's here there it is right and then off we go again so yes it's a beautiful map a lot of you will say I can't build on this map this I just have to demolish beautiful stuff or just build a beautiful city okay maps are there to be built on demolish it ruin the map it's there to be developed just have fun with it okay it's a beautiful map it's a, gonna give you oh look at the bridge here this is stunning low here and then high all the way across the board that is great work okay uh, where was we? Oh yeah, and underneath there, look at the rail going under there. Only oh, got visit. We've got magic tunnels under there as well. Fantastic. And then we'll head off across this bridge as well. So yeah, j yeah. Don't worry about having to demolish stuff that Akanya spent hours laying down. Seriously, it's it's a canvas for you to build on to to build a beautiful city with a beautiful black backdrop. Yes, there are a lot of highways and rail connections down already, but uh, just don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. That's you can't be overdeveloped. The only downside is are more magic tunnels where they come out over there, right? The only downside of having so much detail in the map is there's more things that can go wrong, more things to have to look through before you pass the map as being set to go. More magic tunnels under a mass massive rock of water here. And then someone like me will come along and say, right, you can yet, because honestly, this map, this map is probably the, the best detailed map we have ever seen. Ah, uh, these tunnels, honestly, I think I would have gone with a cutting through there rather than the tunnel personally, but I'm not going to mark down on that because that's just a personal shout and it's been beautifully done. But yes, this is pro possibly the most detailed, most beautiful map that there has ever been, but if there's any major glitching, like you know, shipping routes that crash through posts or anything like that, then you'll lose a mark for detail. Because I have to. I can't give a perfect score for a map that's got an imperfection. But that said, there are lesser maps that have scored five stars for detail. That kind of thing. You, you see where I'm coming from? So if I do find anything wrong with this map, and we're looking at the rail now, by the way, which is now going to this tunnel here, Where's that coming out? Oh, just out on the other side here, so it's now free from the highways. Yeah, if I do find anything wrong with it, don't don't think that the map I'm I'm being overly harsh or there's anything awful with the map, because you can see that this map is a higher standard than well. I do have a minor grumble about the rail going through all these farmlands, cutting bisecting everything. I mean, let's have a look at this. Look, we've got. Um, we've got level crossing there and two yards further on we've got another level crossing there I mean and there's nothing more that you can do if you're going to be running roads rail through roads and using roads as like a barrier for decoration this is again here level crossing and level crossing um, I'm not marking it down I'm just suggesting that maybe oh this is beautiful actually by the way as it goes it look at the way that has been tapered in absolutely lovely glorious so yes, I'm not marking down anything like that because that'd be ridiculous. It's got to be a, it's got to be a proper, it's got to be a proper issue for me to mark down. As you can see, there's nothing wrong with this map. It's just beautiful, perfect detailing all the way, and uh, we need underneath that bridge there, and across this river here, and we're not we're not following every road or rail. I mean, oh, I thought that was going to clip the uh, electricity line there. It didn't. Yes, absolutely beautiful. Like I say, there we're not following every road and rail because this would take far too long. We're just um, taking a couple of scenic routes. This one, oh crumbs! Look at this. Just look at. Can you imagine building a town down here? I just want to be let loose on this. I really do. Let's go over this bridge, over the bridge, up, up, and over and down again, and then down and over this, and we could go right which is slightly more scenic, but there's a reason I want to go to the left. We'll go this way. Right, now, study yourselves, guys. What you're about to see is going to spoil a perfect score. I'm sorry. I am so sorry to have to do this. Ready, deep breath, deep breath. Here we go, here we go. Around here. And there. A pillar in the middle of the railway line. 
but that's not all okay that is not all that is um well yeah it's it's an oversight easily removed easily fixed move it that's what that's there for really but look over here we've got glitchy railway with those um uh, you know the overheads all over the shot there and also the blue mantle shining through that's uh that's a bit disappointing. Like I say, ignore the glitching of the roads because that is nothing that can be helped by the map maker. That is a game problem at the moment. So anyway, anyway, I can't give a perfect score for this map for detailing because that is a detailing error. But on a map this size, oh, where's this rail gone? <laughs> oh my life, where's this gone? Oh, this is why I love it, can you? Oh, absolutely, my favourite map maker. And just because I'm not giving perfect scores does not mean that Ikania is not my favourite map maker. Um, it, it just is so entertaining. I mean, there are other great map makers. I love their maps. But if you had to pick just one that you said, look, I, I just can't wait for the next map from this person because I, I don't know what they've got in store for me. Well, it's Ikania. Okay, and the help from uh, Mr. Miyagi on this one. The help from Miyagi makes, well, just a little bit of extra, extra difference, doesn't it, eh? Right, asset review time. It's LA Automotive Farm T Rico by Jazz Befrold. It's the quirky asset of the day because it's a Saturday and we always do a quirky one on a Saturday, don't we? This one, Modern Farm. It's automated, which makes you wonder just how many people work in here. But because I'm not going in depth on these asset reviews, this is just a quick glance at an asset. I can tell you how many people work here. But if it's zero, then what's the point? You're not going to get anybody working. It's not going to help your city. But it's a lovely little asset. I love it. LA Automated Farm Rico by Jasper Frold. And that is that. <laughs> Back to that horrible map that we were looking at. It's awful. Look, floors everywhere. I mean, ah, hang on. See that bit of yellow there? Hang on. Ah, that there. That there is not part of the shipping route. And if I was really mean, I'd lose an extra point for detailing. But I'm not. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. I would not do that. That would be just evil. Evil! Oh, I so want to put my evil hat on. Please. Let me put my evil hat on. Second shipping route over here. Uh, Crisscrosses with the air route there. The purple one is the air route. Yeah, and there goes big, big gap there through the bridge. No problems at all. Done everything they can to avoid disasters. Fantastic. Now we're looking at the water flow. I'm not going to show you the actual water flow arrows because you can see the water is flowing. You know, with a map with these many waterfalls, etc. There's going to be plenty of water motion. Now I've got to love the colour of the uh, water. I mean, it is really alpine. It's really light blue shine. It's like the like the sky reflecting off of the water. Now oh, the snow theme on this is beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Good choice of trees as well. Snow topped pines. Lovely. And like I say, these mountains aren't for building on. They are for decoration and they are for building around. And so that's that's good, okay. And they and they look really good as well. What more can I say? What else have we got then? Are we we're gonna have a look at um, um, this mountain block over here because this actually comes in from the ridge. Oh, and then we've got beautiful. Oh, look at this. Once again, we are back to toothpaste commercials. Look at this. You just want a fresh breath like this mountain water. Mm -mm, lovely. And then up here we've got this big pool once again this is a fantasy map so that i'm not marking it down on unrealistic uh water flow etc like water pouring out the top of mountains which is a big bugbear in realistic maps this one i can let it go because you can see it's not meant to be realistic it's meant to be gobsmackingly beautiful and that is what we've achieved gobsmacking beauty lovely right right and we have um we've now glanced at that okay now water flow in the middle of the map well, i'm going to show you this river because there's a little bit up the top of it that is actually here look at it look at the way that narrow sort of like is chiseled away in the middle there it's beautifully done 
Not only that, the amount of water that's flowing through here, and it's going in multiple di different directions. Do you know how much planning is involved in getting this to work? I mean, it just doesn't happen. It just does not just happen. It's so well worked. It's unbelievable. Okay? Unbelievable. I tried planning a water network like that for my second map, and that hasn't happened yet. Ah, now this little one here, um, occasionally I found this overlapping the, the, um, the river bank slightly, causing flooding on that river, on, on that river, on that road. Um, only occasionally, only about once every 20 seconds was that lapping over. And over here, we've got some logs that look like they've been soaked for too long, therefore they're drooping and obviously following the curve of the land there into the water. I wouldn't mark down on that either. Not as a one-off single minor incident like that. Right, the rock detailing and the, and the tree selection detailing. Um, and apparently all these trees are hand positioned. I can believe that, you know. I can believe that. These probably, I'm guessing, a prop line tool. Um, I can't believe for one minute that they've all been put down solely by hand. But maybe I'm wrong. I'm happy to bow to Ekanya's well, claims of them being hand-placed. I'm sure I read that he claimed they were hand-placed. But all the, all the individual, all these, definitely, oh, these are just... This splash of colour here, that's such a good choice of tree to contrast the light and the dark greens. It's lovely. Absolutely. This map is stunning. But then it's Ikania and all of his maps are stunning, without fail. If I haven't got one of his maps in my map of the year, top 12 countdown over Christmas, oh, did I leak a spoiler there? Then I don't know. Right, aesthetically, look, let's go no further with this. Five stars, okay? It's stunning. For detailing, well, I'm gonna lose it that one star and that is solely for that rail going under the bridge the pillar on the line and the slight glitching on the other side. Everything else, which was a minor issue, I would not have marked down on, so it's literally that one thing. Gameplay potential, yes, there will be people complaining about there being too much road, rail, and too much detailing, meaning you've got to destroy it to build. Sorry, that's not a reason for it not to be gameplayable. Five stars. And that is Lofoten, Norway by Ikania. Stunning, 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 and of course it has to get the Bomb Bomb V seal of approval. Well, thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. Join me again on a Monday for another What's Map, and touch wood, I'll have something special for you tomorrow as well. Good grief. Do I spoil you? I do spoil you. But you're my special friends. You're so special. All of you, very special. See you Monday. Bye now.